Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about setting up a Terraform Cloud workspace with a version control workflow that triggers its runs from a Git repository hosted on GitHub. So what does that mean exactly? In Terraform Cloud, I currently have no workspaces as you can see. So let's go ahead and click on New Workspace to take a look at the workspace options. You're given three options when creating a new workspace. Version control workflow, CLI driven workflow, and API driven workflow. Version control workflow has a few advantages over CLI driven or API driven. CLI and API driven workflows are great, but they require either some tooling written around them to coordinate runs and applies, or manual intervention to run the required Terraform commands. With version control, the workspace can be set up to retrieve its configuration files from a remote Git repository and trigger runs automatically when changes are made to those files. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we can set up this workspace, we need to set up the integration between Terraform Cloud and GitHub, which is where my repository is located. Scroll up to the top of Terraform Cloud and we're going to click on Settings. On the left hand side of the page, Click on Providers under Version Control. Now, click on Add a VCS Provider. Here we have a few provider options to choose from. For this video, I'm going to choose GitHub. Under GitHub, I could choose either GitHub Enterprise or GitHub.com. For this video, I'm going to use GitHub.com. On the next page, we have some instructions on how to connect to GitHub. In step one, Click on the link to register a new OAuth application. This will open up a link to GitHub. You may be prompted to log into GitHub here if you aren't logged in already. Okay, so we're presented with the register a new OAuth application page where we need to enter the information from the last page. I'm going to go ahead and position both these pages side by side to make it easier. Under the Terraform Cloud page, copy the information in step one over to the GitHub page. You will need the application name, the home page URL, and the authorization callback URL. Once all of these details have been filled in, click on register application. Now we need to move on to step two on Terraform Cloud. Here we need to enter in the client ID, client secret, and optionally we can give it a display name. Go ahead and copy the client ID first. Next, we need to generate a client secret from GitHub. Under the new GitHub registered application, click on generate a new client secret. A client secret will then be generated. Keep in mind that this is the only time you will see this secret, so save it aside if you think you'll need it again. Okay, so copy the client secret over to Terraform Cloud. Then click on Connect and Continue. On the next page, you'll need to authorize Terraform Cloud's access to your GitHub account. So click on the green Authorize button. And finally, we're going to skip the optional step of setting up an SSH key pair, since it doesn't apply here. So at the bottom of the page, click on Skip and Finish. You should now see the new version control provider listed in Terraform Cloud. Now that the provider has been set up, we can go ahead and create a new version control driven workspace. So go ahead and click on Workspaces at the top of the screen. Then click on New Workspace. Click on the Version Control Workflow option to get started. On the next screen, we need to connect to a version control provider. Choose the GitHub provider that we just created. Now I can see a list of available repositories from my GitHub account. I'm going to select the TFC test repository that I've already set up for this demo. We'll take a peek at that in a moment. Finally, choose a name for the workspace. It will default to the GitHub repository name, so I'm just going to keep that. Now click on Create Workspace. Great. Let's go ahead and click on Go to Workspace Overview. On the right-hand side of the overview page, 
we have some details about this workspace. The first link is a link to the GitHub repository for this configuration. So let's click on that and check it out. In my TFC test repository, I have a main.tf file. And in that file, I have a null resource that will run 10 times using the count function. All right, let's go back to the workspace overview page. You'll notice that there are a couple of next steps available. We're gonna skip over configuring variables and we're gonna go right to starting a new plan. This will kick off a Terraform plan using my configuration that's stored in my GitHub repository. We can see the TFC test null resources from the GitHub repository in the plan output. You'll notice that there are 10 of them. Now scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and click on confirm and apply. It's optional, but you can add a comment here if you like. Once you're ready, click on confirm plan. Once the apply finishes, let's go back to the overview page. The latest run that was triggered through the UI will be displayed here. Okay, now let's see what happens when the configuration in GitHub is modified. I already have the repository cloned down locally, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. In the main.tf file, I'm going to update the count from 10 to 5. And then I'm going to save the file. Next, I'll commit my change then sync my changes back to the main branch. If I quickly go back to Terraform Cloud, we should see a new run getting queued up. Notice that the title of my run is the same as my commit message. That's the beauty of setting up a version control workspace in Terraform Cloud. When changes are made to a Terraform configuration and committed to the repository, Terraform Cloud can automatically kick off a plan so someone just needs to come in to confirm the changes. Let's go ahead and click on see details for that latest run. Here, we can see that it's going to destroy five of the resources because I modified my count from 10 to five. Now let's go ahead and click on confirm and apply and then click confirm plan. Now that the run has been applied, I just want to show you a couple of the settings that are available for a version control workspace. Scroll up and click on the settings drop down, then click on version control. Under version control, we can see the details of the version control provider that we set up earlier, and we could also modify the source here if the location of the remote repository ever changes. Next, we can configure a Terraform working directory. Use this if your configuration files are not in the root folder of your repository. You just need to specify the path to the folder where the configuration is located. Next, we can configure the apply method. By default, the workspace is set up for manual apply. That means someone needs to come into Terraform Cloud and click the apply button like we just did. For a more automated process, this could be set up to auto apply the configuration as soon as changes are detected. By default, any change to the repository will trigger a run in Terraform Cloud. There is also another option to only trigger when specific files change. All right, so that was a quick demo for getting started with a version control workspace connected to a GitHub repository in Terraform Cloud. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.